Hello, the story I'm going to read you today is called Ruby Bridges Goes to School. And it's by Ruby Bridges. This is a picture of her when she was a little girl. And this story is all about going to school. She wrote it herself about her own life. That's called an autobiography. And instead of drawings, these are pictures. These are really pictures of her. A long time ago, some people thought that black people and white people should not be friends. In some places, black people were not allowed to live in the same neighborhoods as white people. See, this sign says, we want white tenants, that's people who live there in our white communities. And this boy has a sign that says, we won't go to school with Negroes. That's a word that people used to use a long time ago instead of black, and it's not a word that we use today. But look, he's not even very old and he's holding that sign, it's not a nice thing. In some places, black people were not allowed to eat in the same restaurants as white people. You see there, it says white only. So if you were a black person, you could not go in there. What do you think about that? And in some places, black children and white children could not go to the same schools. This is called segregation. So look, you'll see here there's a black teacher teaching black children, only black children. Here there's only white children. People thought that it was wrong to have friends you know, to go to school or to work with or to live with people with different skin color. Then the United States government said segregation is wrong. People should live where they want. People should eat where they want. Children should go to school where they want. This is a lawyer. And so he changed the law People changed the law to say that it was wrong. My name is Ruby Bridges. In 1960, I went to kindergarten in a school for black children. I liked my school. I liked my teacher. I liked my friends. There she is. So she went to that school that was just for black kids and she liked everybody there. But sometimes black children had to go to schools that were very far away. And sometimes they weren't good schools. But there was a school for white children even closer to my house than the school for black children. It was the William France Elementary School. And the government said Ruby Bridges should be allowed to go to the William France School. So look, this school was even closer than the black school. And her parents wanted her to go so she didn't have to go so far. What do you think the people at that school thought about that? There weren't any black people at that school. In 1961, I was in first grade. My mother took me to the France school. Marshals came with us to make sure that we were safe. Marshals, these are these people, see that on their arm they have the special band? That means they're marshals. They were from the government to keep her safe. People wanted to hurt her. They were so angry and so mad that she was going to their school. Can you imagine feeling so angry about that little girl? People did not want a black child to go to the white school. They stood near the school and they yelled at me to go away. Look at that big crowd. How do you think Ruby felt when she saw that? Do you think she still went to the school? Parents took their children out of the school and I was all alone with my teacher. Mrs. Henry. So she was in first grade all by herself. Everyone else said, we don't want our kid to go to school with Ruby Bridges. How do you think she felt? I loved Mrs. Henry and Mrs. Henry loved me. I was a very good student. I learned math and I learned how to read, but I wished the children would come back. That's her teacher, Mrs. Henry. What would it be like to go to school with just you and your teacher? Would you like that? Months and months passed. Then one day, children began to come back to school. At last, I had friends to play with. I was very, very happy. Look, and what do you think the other kids thought about Ruby? Do you think they liked her? 
Many people have read about me in newspapers and books. The famous writer John Steinbeck wrote about me. He wrote that I was very brave. That's the writer. What do you think it means to be brave? Why, how was Ruby brave? The First Lady, Eleanor Roosevelt, wrote a letter to me, and the letter told me that I was a good American. And Norman Rockwell was an artist who painted a picture of me. The painting has become very famous. This is a painting, so look. It's Ruby Bridges and the Marshalls, and you can see that somebody is throwing stuff at her. Now I am grown up. I am married. I have children. One day, Mrs. Henry and I were both asked to be on a TV show. That was the first time we had seen each other in many years. And now we talk to each other often. So look, Ruby Bridges is a grown up. She's got her own kids and she still loves her teacher. Now black children and white children can go to the same schools. I like to visit schools. I tell my story to children. I tell children that black people and white people can be friends. So there she is, she's visiting a school. Think about your school. Does everybody at your school look the same as you? Is everybody white or is everybody black? Are there boys and girls? Are there people who are what might be called Hispanic or Latino? Maybe there's even people from other countries at your school. Most important, I tell children to be kind to each other. Wow, do you think that you would have been able to do what Ruby did? She had to be very brave. Brave sometimes means that you're scared, but you do something anyway because you know it's important. I love reading this story because it's a real true story. I hope you liked it. See you later. Bye.